Listen, if you're worried that if you miss some workouts over the Easter break or any holiday really, just remember that you can do a minimum workout and still keep moving forward. So I'm doing handstands today, but normally this workout would take me about two hours with all the locomotion and flow and flexibility I do in it. Today, I'm just gonna do my minimum workout. So I'm gonna get started with some hanging. And normally I do lots and lots of sets of hanging, but today I'm really just gonna do a tiny bit of single arm hang transitions. And so this is a really, really good way to warm up the shoulders and stretch out my spine before the handstand work. And then I'm going to, I'll just do one set down there of some wrist preparation work, warm my hands up a little bit, and then I will get into a handstand workout. And I'll do five sets of handstands with a two and a half minute break. So this whole thing, including the warm up, is really only gonna take me about 20 minutes and 20 minutes, I'm still gonna do a full handstand workout that's gonna keep me progressing forward with my movement goals, but it's not gonna take me that long. And it's Easter Saturday, so I do need something that's a little bit quicker. It's about two o'clock now. I normally train in the mornings on Saturdays, but we had you know, an event in the park with family and friends this morning. So yeah. I think that'll be enough for my warm-up today. So I'll just do a few first knuckle push-ups. And then a really good little handstand warm-up that you can do is if you just you push your knuckles down into the ground, so here, Push that down into the ground, and then you push the heel of your palm into the ground. So here, knuckles, palm, and you try and do that as quick as you can. And what that's doing is, those are the movements that you do constantly in a handstand when you're losing it. You know, if you're falling back this way, you push the heels of your palm into the ground to bring you back. And if you're falling that way, you push your knuckles into the ground to bring you back this way. So that's a good little warm up. This is just a minimum session, right? So I'm just gonna jump up now. I'll do my handstands. Well, that's easily the worst start to a handstand workout that I've done in a while. But that's how it goes sometimes. I was at the park with my family and some friends and there was a couple of there was a couple there that we met that have just moved up to the central coast near me that are yoga teachers and they're into acrobatics and they're right into their movement training and so we all got into it and had a little movement session in the park which was really fun. So I've already done a bunch of acrobatics and some things like that. I did a bunch of things that I haven't done in about 10 years which was fun. I did some um, aerials and no-handed cartwheels and butterfly flips, which was good fun. I haven't worked on that stuff for ages. But you know, there's, like I did so much of that when I was younger and because I've maintained, well, I've actually increased my strength and flexibility over the years. So I can still do it, you know, which is cool. The strength and the flexibility is the most important thing to maintain. Um, to be able to still do movement skills, you know. That was good fun. And we did a couple of handstands there as well. I think I actually won a handstand competition. We all, the dads got up and did a handstand and I was the longest standing. <laughs> Which was fun. It was good fun getting out. Meeting some new people, I don't often meet people that are into movement culture that are at a, at a good level. I often meet people that are into it, um, but they want to learn, you know, they're, they're asking me a lot of questions about wanting to learn. So it's good fun meeting people that are at a high standard. All right. Let's see if I can do something better this round. The last round was terrible. Okay. 
Here we go. One more. Mildly better than my first set. Woo. What are you guys up to on on your Easter? What are you doing on a day like today? Are you doing any kind of workout, any kind of exercise? For me on a Saturday, my um, my like minimum workout. Like if I really, if I'm, if I just don't have time, it's, it's pretty hard for me to just tell my family on something like an Easter day that I'm still going to, you know, do two full workouts and film them and edit them and upload them. So I just accept that, you know, I've got to give a bit more on a day like today. So my minimum workout is really this. It's, it's, it's all built just around continuing progress with handstands. this is a really big rock for me this year and I really want to keep my uh, handstand training consistent um, every day so yeah that's my minimum workout what's yours tell me in the comments do you even have one do you have a minimum workout if you've never heard of a minimum workout I recommend you have a think about it because you know you have your goal workout which is like if you get it done everything done in a day that you intend to do or, or the workout that you plan to do when you go to the gym or whatever. But then there's those days where, like today for me, where you, you just can't get that done. And so then you just immediately default to your minimum workout. And if you already know what that is, it saves a lot of, a lot of time and a lot of stress because when you can't fit your full workout in and you've got to think on the spot, what am I going to do, what am I going to do? That's a really stressful experience and often it means that you miss the workout because you just go, ah, oh, bugger it, I can't be bothered, you know. But if you know what it is that you want to do on those days and at that time, then you just go bang, you just default to your minimum workout. Bob's your uncle. Awesome, that was 30 seconds, 33 seconds actually. See, one of my worst possible sets at the start of the workout and then a, a good set by set three. And that's where I'm at with my handstand training. I'm trying to unlock that consistency to be able to, you know, first milestone is consistent 30 second handstands. This, the uh, the standard for even like what's considered entry level handstand, you know, to start working on the good stuff is um, 
consistent 60 seconds. So, still got a way to go for that, but I've made really good progress this year so far in 2004. So it's only been three months. See what happens in the next nine months. Maybe I can, uh, well, I'll definitely be able to do something that I've never been able to do before. I'm already doing something that I, I've never been able to do 30 second handstands like that before. But let's see, um, let's see if I can get, uh, you know, consistent. If I could do consistent 30 second handstands by the end of the year, I'd be very happy with myself. So like every set, like if I did a workout like this and I could just do four sets of 30 second handstands and some of them were longer, that'd be really good. That'd be a big achievement for me. So that's a, that's a milestone on my journey with handstands. All right, almost there. I'm done. I'm off to a barbecue now with some friends. And then uh, deload day tomorrow, or recovery day, I should say. So I'll see you in my recovery workout tomorrow and have a happy Easter, everybody. Hope you're having a good time with your family. See you soon. <laughs>